are the attorneys and the defendants coming forward? Yes, sir. Thank yesterday via email and we intended to strike the matter when the case management and we were setting it with the consolidated on this order the case management process we thought we were supposed to set one up and um, this flip system obviously is fairly new and we're still working through what the court's expectations are so the party thought we were supposed to know one proactively did so thinking we were complying with the <coughs> new system it doesn't appear that that's the case um, and so we were going to ask to strike the matter. I spoke with Mr. Smith and um, Greg Smith, who couldn't be here today. Um, just to be clear, the um, defendants are present. They are just standing behind the bar. Um, and so you're asking to strike these matters? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Yu, is that your request as well? Yes, Your Honor. Um, I, I would also like to uh, use this opportunity to uh, just place a few things on the record. I mean, uh, this is considered a case management slash status conference. My understanding is that these hearings are set to give the court an update on the status of the case. Uh, and we had set this because, uh, in our opinion, this was uh, one of the more complicated cases. Uh, it obviously involves a number of co-defendants. Uh, but in, in terms of, I, I'm the attorney of record for Michael Wynn. Uh, that's spelled H-U-Y-N-H, uh, pronounced Wynn. Uh, I just wanted to let the court know that I do have a few updates for the court um, with respect to where we have the case. Uh, first, um, I wanted to let the court know that I received uh, some new discovery on the case late last week in the form of 1919 DVDs. Um, I haven't had a chance to review those, obviously, and it's going to take some time to do so. Um, the second update I have for the court is that Mr. Wynn has filed a motion to proceed pro se on this matter. That case is set for this coming Monday and will be addressed by the court at that point. And the third issue I wanted to bring to the court's attention is that um, I believe that I have a conflict of interest in this case, and I will also be filing a motion to uh, withdraw this case. Um, I have not done so yet, but I would simply want to bring that to the court's attention. Thank you. Ms. Siegel. Just I don't really have much additional information. I've obviously received the same 19 um, DVDs. I, it's my understanding those are surveillance videos. Um, and uh, I've spoken with and I had the problem with them. Um, I'm not sure what the status is with my client, and I'm not aware of whether he's filed any um, motion to go pro se. He is standing with the group and has not entered the, the bar here. Uh, I will investigate that and for judicial economy, if that's the case, we'll try to make sure we're on the same time with um, Mr. D. I think there's similar issues there. But uh, I've been in contact with Ms. Stone. She's provided me with all the information she has today. Thank you. Mr. Craig. Good morning, Your Honor. Uh, I represent uh, number 47 in terms of on the uh, calendar. I don't have any objection to striking this hearing. I've asked for, for additional discovery, which I think all parties have been alerted to in terms of the discovery, and Ms. Stone has that information, so thank you. Thank you. Although some of the parties are requesting to strike the hearing, it appears that we've actually conducted a hearing. Um, so we are completed with the case management hearing for today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 